watch. Now the dog's not even gonna bark because he knows we're talking about him. Oh, now you don't want to bark? I knew this was gonna happen. He literally just stopped barking. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this dog? All right, let's roll. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are just finding me, welcome to my little home. My name is Joe De La Rosa. I was one of the original cast members on Bravo's Real Housewives of Orange County. And now I am here living in this crazy YouTube world where I talk all things fashion, beauty, and today, my favorite products. Now I've been seeing a ton of YouTubers do this video and I've been wanting to do this for a while. These products are definitely all my favorites and my go-tos. So I hope you love them as much as I do. I will be linking all of the product links in the description below. So if you guys want to check them out, you can feel free. Okay, let's jump into it. So I'm a really big fan of my skin feeling really, really soft. And so I have a couple of products that I use as my little secret to do that. The first one is this Flake Away Body Scrub by Soap and Glory. Now this stuff, you guys, pretty much almost gone as you can see, but the consistency of it is a little bit goopy, but you put this on your legs and your skin, you guys, and then you just rub it and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I literally have product all over me, but it's fine. And yeah, it's got shea butter, it has sugar and apricot seeds, and it's basically just a body polish. And you guys, the smell of it smells so good. So I just take a little bit when I'm in the shower and then I just scrub it on my body, on my legs, on basically my entire body. And it literally makes your body feel so smooth. So highly recommend this body scrub if you guys are looking for something. So after you've completely scrubbed your body down and gotten all of the dead skin off of your body, this soap and glory lotion, you guys, this stuff has changed my body texture and the softness and moisture that is like in my body ever since I got it. Again, it has such a nice smell to it. And I'm a really big fan of a little bit thicker lotions. So if you see that, it just has so much moisture in it. And it just like, oh, I put that on and I can just feel all the moisture like locking in on that. And I love that. This has shea butter and aloe vera and it's so good for your skin. This is one of my favorite go-to lotions straight out of the shower. So my third item on the list that I actually got in a PR box is this Pixie Beautify Vitamin C Brightening Eye Patches. Now you guys, I've tried so many things for my under eyes and for me, I really have really puffy eyes because I need a little bit more sleep. But what I love about these strips, first of all, it comes with this little scooper, which is kind of nice. There's these thin little things that look like this. <laughs> They're kind of slippery. And you literally just put them under your eyes and you push on them and you just let it sit there. And at first it's really slimy on your face. And I was like, oh, I don't know how long I can do this, but they start to dry. And when you pull it off, you guys, I have never noticed my under eye feeling less puffy or my under eye looking more bright. And I've tried a lot of under eye stuff, especially just cause I don't sleep a lot at night cause I work so much. So yeah, these are actually one of my favorite new under eye patches. So definitely a recommend. So number four on my December favorites list is this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. And you guys, honestly, you give this little thing a shake and spray, it's so light and refreshing. And the smell of it, you guys, Oh, it's so good. Now you can put this on before your makeup. You can put this off at night. For me, I just needed something that my face was feeling a little bit dry and I just needed something to hydrate my face throughout the day while I'm working. So this has been one of my absolute favorites. Okay, so we moved away from face and now we're going into a little bit of hair. And so here is number five on my list. And this is the Sebastian Shaper Hold and Control Hairspray. Now this one specifically is their dry brushable styling hairspray. And what I like about this is that you can literally spray it 
and it's really light on the hair. So typically whenever I'm doing especially these kind of curls, I'll spray a little bit in my hair before I actually do the curl. But then I also love to kind of spray it all over after I've curled my hair and it still leaves a really touchable curl. Definitely one of my favorite hairsprays whenever I'm doing my hair. Number six on my list is this Chi Twisted Fabric Finishing Paste. I have had so many questions on my hair and what I use to make it look so PC and this has been my secret. So this paste, it's definitely a little bit thick and it's really, really sticky. So I definitely only recommend using a little bit on the palm of your hand and then kind of going like this to it, right? So that's really what I do. And then it just makes it really, really piecey, which I really love that look. So if you guys are looking for a finishing paste just to be able to give your hair a little more dimension, this is my go-to and has been for years. Number seven on my list is if you're needing to stay a little warmer this winter, and you guys, these little earmuffs I found random little find in San Francisco at Macy's. They have a gorgeous department store if you guys don't know in the middle of Union Square. And I found these because it was really cold and you guys, look how cute these are. Like, I feel like they're so, like, if you're wanting to have a Gossip Girl moment with, like, Blair Waldorf and all these little pearls, so, and these little muffs are so soft. And they actually just went on sale as well, but if you're looking for just a little fun for your ears, this little winter wonderland is one of my favorites this season. So we're done talking about hair, and now let's move on to some fun makeup products. So one of my favorite contour palettes that I've been using so much these days is this BH Studio Pro Contour Palette, and I really love it because it has every different kind of shade for you. So this is the one I use for my cheeks. If you're olive skin, it's been my favorite. And then when I'm doing a little bit of actual contouring across my jawline, on my forehead, and right underneath my cheekbones, this darker shade is the one I've been using. But the nice thing about this palette is you can find the shades necessary for you and you've got a range of rainbows. So I feel like this is really versatile no matter what skin tone you are. I also like to use these two depending on what I'm doing with my eyeshadow right here above your arch bone. This is the one I use and I love this formula because it's just so soft and there's so much pigment. So definitely a fun one. And if you guys are looking for a contour palette, this has been my go-to and I highly recommend. So the next contour palette that I randomly found and have been loving is this e.l.f. contour palette. Now, I love the BH Cosmetics one, but the reason I love this one is just because it's a little bit more portable. It's not like super big like the last one was. Also, the price point is gonna be a lot nicer on this since it's the e.l.f. line and it's a little bit more affordable. So one thing I don't love about this palette is sometimes when you take your brush and you put it in there, you kind of get a little bit of this like falling effect that happens with the color, but the pigment is actually really nice. I also love to use this one right here, again, on my brow bone. So yeah, this is one of my little finds that I really like, and this one is in the light medium. So for me, it works for my skin tone if you're that same skin tone as well. Okay, number nine on my list is something that I have been seeking high and low. I've tried every single lip scrub out there possible. Because I actually do get lip injections, my lips tend to get a little more dry than most, but even if you don't do lip injections and you have dry lips and you're needing a good scrub to give you moisture, this one right here, the e.l.f. brown sugar scrub, you guys, so good. Not only does it give your lips a lot of moisture, but as you can see, I'm pretty much almost done using it all. It's really, really grainy, so it really works all that dry skin off of your lips, and it tastes really good. So from all the lip scrubs that I've tried, this one is my favorite, and it's really affordable as well, so that's a plus. Item number 10, let's talk a little bit about color for the lips. I am a really big fan of this MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the color feels so grand. So I have a boyfriend and one thing that is not his favorite thing is that I wear so many lipsticks and obviously if you kiss it rubs off and so I've been trying to find some more like stay on your lip type of products that don't kiss off. So this is the one I found and the formula on this you guys it's so incredibly pigmented. It did stay all day so I'll just go ahead and swatch it but you guys look at all the color. It's so yummy. Also, it just stays on your lips for so long. 
Like I literally drank with this, ate with this, and the thing would not move. So I really recommend this one if you guys are looking for a, a really great holiday lip color. Number 12 on my list for my favorite lipstick products that I'm loving this winter is actually the one I have on my lips. And it's by Stella and it's the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in Note. Again, another really amazing, does not move from your lips kind of product. So this is what it looks like, and I really only wear a really dark color like this that's kind of vampy, you know, vampy, during like the winter and the fall months, but I love it. It's just so rich, and if you're wearing blacks or if you're wearing a lighter color, I feel like it's something a little bit different and just makes you feel really bold and daring, and I like feeling bold and daring. So yeah, definitely one of my favorites as well. Now moving on to nails. Right now, these little black nails, once again, I always feel like I have have these colors that I love wearing just in the winter and fall and this is definitely one of them which is black nail polish. I love using this Sally Hansen Insta Dry because if you're like me whether you go to the nail salon pre-COVID or if you're doing your nails at home I swear you guys I can't go more than two minutes after I'm done putting on new nail polish without smacking my nails and ruining something so I really love this nail polish now this is just the black to black number 360 and yeah I just really love it because because you put it on, it dries really fast and it stays on pretty well. So definitely a good black nail polish if you're looking for one. And my last, but definitely not least, favorite product on the list are these Ardell Demi Wispy Fake Lashes. Now you guys, if you know me and you've been following me, you know your girl never films, never goes to dinner, or never does a picture or photo shoot without fake lashes. <laughs> it's just my thing. I feel like it really kind of gives you a glow up and takes your look from natural to the next level if you ever wanna look a little bit more polished on camera or if you're going to dinner or whatever your special occasion may be. So I really love these Demi Wispies because they're shorter on the inside and then they kinda of get a lot fuller on the outside. And this five pack makes it a really great value. So definitely if you guys are looking at some really great lashes, these are my go-tos forever. Well guys, that's it, my top 15 favorite things that I am loving this holiday season. So if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you know every time that I post a new video. And that's it. I hope you guys have an incredible holiday season with you and your loved ones and I'll see you in my next one.